Right, all right, what is up everybody? Welcome to the 2020 season. So it's March 27th, 2020. We are amidst this annoying corona epidemic. I hope everybody's staying safe. Uh, but we're gonna go ahead and make the maiden voyage on the little boat today, my little reaper. Uh, guys, the teaching point today is this is why you do shakedown trips. I got on the boat and she wouldn't start. Uh, the ignition was a little bit off and uh, I had a dead battery. So um, I don't think anything was left on. I think that battery may just uh, need to be replaced. It's about, I guess three or four years old now. I guess, I don't know, it shouldn't really be dead. But at any rate, we got the engine purring. We're gonna take off here in a second. Uh, what I'm actually gonna be doing is sprinting to a very uh, popular and famous or infamous early season spot. It's at the mouth uh, of a river. Um, and typically on the outgoing tide, usually in early April and occasionally at the end of March or early to mid-March, um, you can you know get some decent striper activity. Today, we're really mostly probably gonna hopefully and again, I'll be happy if I just catch something. Hopefully gonna be seeing some holdover schoolie stripers, real small guys. Um, you will start seeing some ocean run males, um, and you may even see some, um, some pre-spawn females, but I'm gonna release everything that we catch today. I really just hope to get a couple of bites, I'll call it a day, um, and I'll be happy. Uh, I really just wanna do a shakedown trip on the little boat. Again, it's important. So we are on my 18 Maycraft today. We got the Evinrude Purin. So we got about a nine and a half uh, for memory run. So um, that battery will charge just fine. So let's get the heck out of here. See ya. All right, team, we are off. Maiden voyage, baby, I'm super excited. The water temperature right now is 47.8. So that's back here in my lagoon. I would anticipate it's actually a little cooler in the inlet. Uh, we're just at the end of the incoming tide where I'm going. We're going way back, so it should be a little bit warmer. We'll find out when we get there. We're gonna be using blowworms today for bait. See how she runs after a, a winter here. Oh, that feels great, guys. So we're just getting set up here now. Um, the conditions are beautiful. We got light, it looks like uh, light southwest winds, west winds really. Um, just getting the anchor set now. The water jumped a little bit, it's 49.1. I actually anticipate that as the tide starts coming out, that should bump up a little bit as well. Um, so let's see, let's get the rods out. Uh, we'll go from there, I'll show you the rig and cross our fingers. All right, team, so this is the rig. So barrel swivel, this is a 75 pound barrel swivel. This I actually just have with 20 pound fluorocarbon. All right, dropper loop, dropper loop, and then just an overhand loop for a two ounce pyramid sinker. And again, we're using fresh live bloodworms. I'll show you them in a second. So on this setup, we have a tsunami, nothing special. All right, there's the specs on that rod. And then I just got one of my pen spit fishers. This is the uh, 4500. So let's see. First cast of the 2020 season. So these are the blood worms, all right? These are gnarly little dudes. So they get them up on the flats, typically up in New England. Now, interestingly enough, they actually will shoot out a little projectile and they can actually bite you um nothing major they just kind of barely latch on I'm trying to get this guy to eject his bite his little claspers um but it'll it'll kind of freak you out the first time it happens they got little claws that like come out and get you um and yeah it'll freak you out a little so just be mindful of that i don't know what they use use it to attach to i assume whatever they're trying to suck blood out of Come on, buddy. 
Get your little clasper out. There it is. See, I just shot that inside out. So there's the claspers. There they go. See them right there? I don't know if you can see that, but there's four little claspers right there. And he'll try and actually grab onto you. And it'll surprise the living heck out of you. And see, he's sucking it back in. Yep, see that? Freaky little things. So all you got to do is just thread them on the hook. And that blood that's inside them just goes on out. I like to leave a nice little tail hanging if you can. So I have a pack of jumbos. And then I have a pack of just regular size. So the tide's still just barely coming in. So I'm going to beat up with a double to start. Um, and uh, we'll go from there. I anticipate that our best shot at getting some fish today is on the outgoing. So I don't want to use up all my bait now. I got four dozen bloodworms. Um, I've said it before in all my videos. Don't skimp on bait. Spend all this money on all the boats and all that. Don't skimp on the most important thing. So let's get our second line out there and maybe light up a cigar because this is just real relaxing fishing actually. This combo here, this is a Pen Battle 2 graphite rod. So this is the little Pen Battle 2 2500 series. It's a nice little combo. You don't need anything super, super you know heavy back here these fish are typically pretty small so it's about 12 30 now the tide is finally uh moving on the outgoing and uh just like that yeah we had two bites uh, i missed both of them just little taps probably small stripers uh, but that's a good sign so hopefully this this outgoing tide's going to get it moving i'm going to meet up with uh, zach in about 10 minutes i'm going to go pick him up at one of the local marinas he's getting done work so uh Maybe he'll bring me some good luck. He's bringing me some soft pretzels. At least he better be. So, let's catch a fish here. So come on over here and pick me up. Yeah. I had two good bites, dude, back to back. You missed them? I missed both of them. And then I was just, I lost another blood worm. So, I think they're gonna get going, dude. The water temp pumped up like two full degrees already. Wow, it's pretty impressive. It is impressive. Soft pretzels. Hey, buddy, you doing anything? No, not yet. Where are you going? Going home. Took, took a little while. Once I got up. Like, as soon as I got off uh, the parkway, there's like road work. Wow. Oh. The water clarity doesn't get much better than it is right now. Fuck, I'm so mad at work. So oh, you had to stay till 11. Oh. oh, why would I stay here? What wrong with you? There is. Come on. Get him. Fish on, baby. Fish on. Let's see what the culprit is. Oh my word. You gotta be kidding me. Oh, he's cute. Hey, little guy. First striper of the year. Oh my god, I've never seen that one that small. No? Uh -huh. Yeah, I have. Come on, little baby. Look how little you are. That might be one of the smallest ones I've ever got. Okay, fella. Okay, go find a female. Down. Key thing with these blood worms is keep putting fresh ones on there. I usually don't take the old ones off, but I always add fresh blood worms as we go. So let's see. Zach just got bit too, so maybe they're they're getting going here. Yeah, that's getting that's a good bite. Circle hook. Oh, yeah, sure. He's 
طب هنا get him Zachary get him still tapping it get him circle hawk He wants it. Why name more? He missed him. I missed him. Zach, he missed him. Circle hook. You don't jerk, you just reel. I know. In tog mode. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah, fish on, oh, baby. They're starting to bite. Uh, this one's a little better. He's yeah, he's feisty. Feisty little guy. It's cool though. They're biting. They're turning on. Nah. Oh, this one's a fighter, dude. Look at you, little guy. Look at you, dude. I got a two. Yeah. Hey, what's up, little guys? All right, I don't want to hurt you. Come on. Look how pretty. Come here. I don't want to take you out of the water. I don't even want to take them out of the water. Go ahead, little guys. Bye bye, baby. There he goes. Oh, yeah. Oh, dude, that's a good one. That's a good one. Proper? Yeah, that's a decent one. Watch that middle one. I think I'm okay. That's a better one. Yeah, baby. Woohoohoo. Where am I at? Oh, I think we're okay. Yeah, that's a better one. Yeah, I mean, he's still tiny, but it's okay. Go. Cool. I'm like you. Come here, you devil. Hey, look at you. Come here. Look how pretty you are. Hey, look how pretty you are. Come on. Ah, oh, yeah. Grab a quick pick, bud. Oh, uh, yeah, that's an ocean going male. See, he's got some small sea lice on him. Beautiful. Ready? All right, let's go, baby. Let's get you back. Look how pretty. How pretty you are. Hey, bud. Perfect cure for cabin fever here. First trip 2020. Having fun so far. Outgoing tie, baby. Keep those blood worms fresh. That's key. Wait them out. Look at them grabbing, see? Wow, gnarly little dudes. Look at them. So these are the jumbos. These are $24 a dozen, team. This is the most expensive little baby stripers ever. And guess what? I don't care. <laughs> Dude, look at the size of that blood worm, everybody. That is one of the jumbo. bigger blood worms you'll see. That is a jumbo. Let's see if he shoots out his see if he shoots out his his mouth at us. Alright, I don't want to. I'll let you go. Oh, that was a good bite. Oh, he's tiny. Tiny. Fighter. It's funny how they just turned on, man. It's crazy. Come here, you little devil. Come on. Come on. I don't even want to take you out of the water. There you go, buddy. You're pretty. Get out of here. So, team, we catch tuna, we catch swords, we catch marlin, we catch drum, we catch stripers. We catch them all, baby. 
Zach's having some trouble. You got him. We don't just do Jersey either. We do Costa Rica. We do Panama. We do it all. Oh, on the little one. On the little one. There he goes. On the little one. Get him. Do we got? Come on, you got him. Yours has to be on there. He bent that rod. I'm not very good at this. <laughs> Dude, that one actually bent. Yeah. Oh, that was a better one. Zachy's having some trouble here. So like I was saying, we do Costa Rica, we do Nicaragua, we do Panama, we do Florida, Florida Keys. So check us out. Oh man, something just jumped right out. Oh yeah. That, that's a fighter. You got one? Oh, I'm trying to get out of here. This one's actually pulling pretty good. Ben and the rod. Look at him go. This is number eight, I think, right? <laughs> Unreal. Zacharis is having a tough time here. Oh, look at this one. Dude, that's a nice one. That's a better one. Got him? Here, we'll get a good picture of this guy. Look at this beautiful, pretty one. Oh, that one's beautiful, guys. Look how pretty. Come here. Come here, baby. Come on. That one's beautiful. This one just really kind of tapped at it, too. Come on. Get over here. <clears throat> oh, absolutely beautiful, team. Look how pretty this guy is. Come on, support his belly. Look how beautiful. Look how beautiful. You got him? Oh, we got a double. There we go, baby. Zacharis has a diesel one. All right, let's let this one go. Come on, baby, get down here. Oh, Zachy's got a diesel one. You got it? Zacharis has a diesel one. You need me to move that other one? I think you're under it. You should be under it. Yeah. Zacharis has a decent one. Oh yeah. Huh? It's yeah. So light. Yeah, I mean that rod's really light. It's okay. It's probably about gonna be about the same size as mine. Oh yeah, he's nice. Here he comes. Oh yeah, beautiful fish, Zach. Beautiful. What's this, number nine? Yeah, number nine. Good buddy. Oh yeah. How pretty. Yeah. Yeah, man. That's I'm telling you, I think he's right out of the ocean. He's coming up and get those females. Make some babies. Yeah, buddy. Out of here. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Dude. Got him. There you go, Got on your light there. rod. So team, I think that's number nine. Uh, they're getting a little bit bigger. That one's probably, I don't know, 22 inches, 24 inches maybe. Probably more like 20, 22, but at any rate, we're having a blast shaking the, sh shaking the cobwebs off the winter season. Couldn't ask for anything better. Awesome. That one getting bit? Oh yeah, woo hoo hoo hoo! Another fighter. This is awesome. This is number 10, I think. A little fat one. Another healthy guy. Come on. Hey fella, aren't you pretty? I'm not gonna take you out of the water. This team, I see all these guys and girls smiling with these pictures of all their little 15 inch stripers, squeezing them, you know, running them in the sand. No need. Far 
far exceeded my expectations. Here you go. This one's getting bit. Yeah. Oh, my oh man. Jeez. Jeez. <laughs> Wanted it, dude. Yeah, you keep paying attention. Yeah. You keep missing out on this reel. Alright, I like this. Alright. This is number 11. So fun. That rod bin. Oh, I got two. I got another double. Make it 12. <laughs> Come here, buddy. All right, that's one. Come oh, on, baby. Did you get him, Zach? Nope. nope. Steady try. Pull. You just start reeling though. Don't even trying. don't even lift the rod. Just reel. Think about it. It's a circle hook. No. There you go. He's getting bit. Go ahead, get him, Zach. I get like him. He's on there. That one's on there. All you gotta do is reel. That one's already on there. Just reel. <laughs> that rod was bouncing. I'm just gonna put worms on your hook and keep reeling this. Okay. That's awesome. Let's get them. Can't do it. Alright, you can't. You're in your own head. You do, no, what are you jerking it for? I'm not jerking. I'll that was a jerk. It. Stop it. I know what I'm doing. I know what I'm doing. What are you jerking it for? I wasn't doing I was reeling down on it. Just reel. No, it's just the way I feel. It's just automatic. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> That's it. Weed the small ones out for me. Wow, that's a little baby. Come here, Key. All right, all right. Cool. Don't get much smaller than that. Nope. Ladies and gentlemen. That one got bit by something. Looks like he's got a little bite on. Oh no, it's just a, a neat little break in his collar. See, buddy. Hey, baby. That's a good bite. Oh yeah, yeah, you get him. You get him, Zacharis. Yeah, this one's getting bit. Yeah. You want to show you how to do it? Yep. Oh, you're still getting bit. You're still getting bit. Yeah. <laughs> that sucks. I never seen anything like it. Pathetic. Yeah, you're pretty bad. Pit pathetic. Oh, here we go. Come on. Go for on. Go for on. Go for on, baby. That's a decent one. That's a nice one. I don't play water that one. 28, I'm eating it. Let's see if you hit the goal. 28, I'm eating it. Let's see if you hit the goal. I'll do. That one's getting bit too. Yeah, it is. Number 14, everybody. Number 14. Crazy. Just crazy. Schoolie stripers. That's beautiful. Come here, baby. Come on, let's see. Smile for the smile for YouTube. Hey, pretty boy. Go find your girlfriend. Go find her. Make some babies. That boy. Oh, 
Dude, I got a good one. Proper one? Yep, this is a proper one. Got it nailed. This is a good one, dude. This is the heaviest rod we have. It's one eight, I'm eating it. What's this, number 15? Oh, yeah. Look at Brady. is today's a real good example of really what you always read about early spring striped bass fishing um, you know especially when you're at the mouth of a river or something similar to what we're doing right now uh, it's late in the day it's around 5 30 now so the flats have had all that time to absorb the sun specifically those black mud flats um, and then that water warms up and then when that tide starts coming out you know these fish just turn right on so exactly what you read about it's textbook you'll read it about it in the fishing mags and uh yeah today the the fish read the book read the textbooks so really cool yep. need a kidney belt yeah <laughs> that was great in that in that video you're, you're like you said your dad had everybody in a kidney belt yeah they're like 50 pound yellow yeah. fit everybody not did. even not even oh yeah pounds. not even zach's weeding out the small ones for me Yep. Little guy. So good to see all these young, young healthy stripers though. It's great. It's weird. Some springs, some springs will come here. You won't get any. Oh, dude, I got a good one. one? Yep, this is a proper one. This is a good one, dude. This is the heaviest rod we have. What's this, number 15? Look at him. Come here, baby. Get up here. Come on. Give me your mouth. Give me your mouth. Gotcha. All right. I thought he was a lot bigger. It's all these fish with the circle hook are right in the side of the mouth perfectly. All right, show them for the camera. Beautiful. All right, bye bye, baby. Get down there. Oh, so I think it's here. It's actually mostly dark sand. All right, so about 51 degrees. All right, team, that's a wrap. So it's around five, five thirty, something like that. I think we ended the day with uh, 16 striper, something like that. Just awesome. I'm going to go drop Zach off and get on out of here. We literally went through four dozen bloodworms, so it's pretty rare of me to actually um, run out of bait. But uh, yeah, just going to show you those fish really turned on today. So as always, hit that like button, subscribe, ding that silly bell. More videos coming. Big boat should be in really soon. My buddy Dylan is on the bank right over there. Dill, I hope you get that fish. I see you. So uh, we'll see you in the next video, guys. Thanks so much for tuning in.
All right, team, this is by 18 Maycraft. So this is the Maycraft 1800 skiff. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give you guys a full tour in the next couple videos. But yeah, when I speak of my little boat, that's her right there. It's a 2017, knock on wood, she's been a great boat. She got her done today.